uh, take two. <laughs> this is my um, TTI MC1100 lathe. MC1100 is a standard lathe. Um, comes in many different brand names, but it's basically the same mechanism. You got the. F uh, this is the headstock. This is the headstock wheel. This is the drive wheel, and this is a. the whole assembly together um, and this is the variable speed mechanism now in order to remove the uh, belt which is an M23 belt first thing you have to do is move these um, sorry move this main plate back across as you can a bit hard to see but there's a spring in there and when I move the speed mechanism which I'll be doing here to the right, you will see it takes off a lot of the tension. Okay, so it's a big wider gap, takes the tension off here because this is retained by a circlip and two uh, bolts or screws. You take out the circlip after you've pushed the speed control all the way to the right, undo the bolts or loosen them at least, and this just slips off. And then what you have to do is, uh, when you take the old belt off, this will clamp together really tight. Um, it's quite easy. You get your f just with finger pressure, you can pull this back, and then you squeeze down. Like you put the uh, belt on and squeeze down as far as you can, and let it uh, snap back into place and that will hold it open which will then keep this end open enough to slip this back on it has to slip on far enough so that the groove where the circlip is inserted sticks out a little bit so you can stick the circlip back on okay now you're going to find it difficult if not impossible to push this back the speed control back um, unless it's moving, so turn it on and just move it back to the lowest position. Now the lowest position is about there. You could take it one step lower, but you run the risk of popping off the circuit because that pushes it out a little bit too far. That's about 500 RPM, just there. I'll give you another look how it works when you move the mechanism. See how the flywheels move up to the highest speed, back to the lowest speed. And that's about as low as you want to go. Okay. One thing you need to do is make sure occasionally you clean the dust and corruption off all this because it gets very dirty because that tends to jam up just there. If there's too much dirt, it won't change speed or you find it difficult to change speed. Blow off the dirt, wash it off in any way you can with uh, solvent, but most of the blowing off should do. Then you squirt generous amounts of Lanox or Inox there, not WD-40, Lanox or Inox, because WD-40 accumulates more dirt. Lanox or Inox there, Lanox or Inox just there, and behind there, there's a spring mechanism behind here which you can't really see. And that should be it. Do not spray Lanox or Inox here or here, because then you'll make the belt slip. how it should move. Right. And there's the lathe itself, there's the headstock, tail stock, and you can see it's moving at about 500 RPM lower speed. Remember that's an M23 belt that you need. Just get that around here. 
See that? Omniforce M23. There, as you can see, that spring mechanism there behind the uh, headstock uh, wheel. Okay, that's it. Good luck.